Hey guys, and welcome to another Day with the Animals video. I'm popping in here at the uh, end of my filming <laughs> to film a quick intro, um, just to let you know that with this one, I'm going to try to remember to put like little timestamps in the description down below, so that way if you want to see a certain animal or if you want to skip around or anything like that, you can. Um, I do some stuff with Tink, Willie, um, beans on amoxicillin, Ott's eye needs to be cleaned out, <laughs> so on and so forth. Um, so all of their separate sections of the video are linked in the description down below for you in case you would like to skip ahead to see whoever you would like to see. But that is all that I have, and we'll go ahead and get into what I think is like 3 in the morning yesterday. Do you go outside? You gotta get off my leg if you want to go outside. <laughs> Come here. There you go. Okay. Let's go outside. While we're waiting for Willie's oatmeal to cool down, we're gonna go ahead and feed the hamsters. Hello. Do you want me to fix that? There you go. one thing they're good at, it's being thrown off of their wheel. for a second before I open it back up because it normally hurts his feelings. Here we go. Hey bud. I have brought you some snacks. Are you gonna bite me? <laughs> I'm assuming Memphis is in the igloo. Um he normally just sleeps most of the time. There you go, that's a better shot.
I'm actually mildly concerned. Normally he comes out when I feed them. I slept the first three hours in the morning, so if he's been out and about, I haven't seen him because I was asleep. Um, I was able to hear at least one of them running on the wheel, which I'm assuming was 10, um, because it was hitting the side of the cage. But I don't know about outside of that. So I'm going to lift up the igloo and make sure he's okay. I saw you moving. <laughs> Are you burrowed? What are you doing back there? <laughs> Hi, Memphis. What are you doing, bud? I got you some new food. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Alright, let's go see how cooled off Willie's oatmeal is.
And now we'll just sit in here for the next six-ish hours. <laughs> a little less before we move back to mom's room and sit in there for a little bit before he gets his breakfast and his meds. First round of animal chores for the day complete. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Mama Bean. Oh no. What are you doing in there? Now, baby girl. Hey, that was a lot better. That was good. That was good. All right. We need to give Beanie Bean her antibiotics, which I do in the bathroom. Um, I do need both hands to pick her up, so I will see you guys when I get her there. And then once she's there, I'll talk to you more about why she's on antibiotics and what's going on. Okay, apologies in advance for the heater. It's cold in here, it's cold. <laughs> pretty much everywhere in the house um, but we're dealing with what we have so today is Thursday and if uh, when I'm editing this I'll do my best to put the date down here in one of these corners um, I it's it's March <laughs> um, I think it might be the 18th today but I'm not a hundred percent sure on Tuesday um, Normally in the mornings around 9 or so I start doing animal chores, so I make Willie's food, I feed the cats, water the cats, clean out their litter boxes, um, normally take care of Tink depending on how much hay and food she has left in the mornings, um, and go from there. So when I got into the girls room on Tuesday to clean out their litter boxes, I noticed three or four clumps of pee that had a little spot of blood in it, and I was like, oh god which one of them is that. There's three cats in here. How the hell am I going to separate it to know who it is? And pretty much at that same time, Bean climbed into the litter box that I wasn't cleaning because they're right next to each other um, and peed. And she took forever to pee, but she wasn't like meowing or screaming or anything like that. Um, and then when she jumped out of the litter box, there was blood in uh, the urine she had just um, left there in the litter box. So I, I looked up what that could mean so that way I had a rough idea of how much um, treatment would cost and when I finally got her in Tuesday which was an appointment at like 2.30 in the afternoon um, we could have done a urinalysis but her bladder was empty so they would have had to keep her for a couple hours um, and I just, I wasn't going to do that. She had a hard enough day. She was going to the litter box every like five minutes. Um, sometimes peeing nothing, sometimes peeing a little bit of something. But she just, I didn't want her to sit in there for a few hours and the vet agreed that that would suck. Um, so we put her on antibiotics for two weeks and we're treating her for a UTI in hopes that that's what the blood in her urine means. And if not, we'll take her in afterwards for your analysis and we'll go from there. She's on one milliliter of amoxicillin every 12 hours. It goes in her mouth. It sucks. Um, but she forgives me very quickly. So that's the part that I'm um, <laughs> considering a positive. But I bring her in here so that way she's alone, so that way it's just me and her. Um, Jackie isn't in the way, Celine's not, you know, anxious or hissing at anyone. Um, 
Celine doesn't swat at anyone, but she does hiss um, at Jackie. She only hissed at Bean when she got back from the vet because she smelled different. Um, but she doesn't swat at him or anything like that, which is good. So just tip it upside down and pull it to the one milliliter mark. <laughs> Hi, Beanie. Yeah, I love you too. And <laughs> such a good girl. And she doesn't like it, but I can do it. Uh, this is day three, dose one. Yeah. I normally try to get her on the floor, and then I sort of bridge over her. Um, but she's normally not crawling all over my lap. She's a very sweet cat. She's always been a very sweet cat. So this is just like her norm. Um, but outside of the potential UTI, she's also grooming herself bare on her back legs, her underbelly, and near her butt. So she looks all kinds of weird here. <laughs> I was worried that there was something wrong with her legs too, but the vet just says she's over grooming because she's stressed, which the vet assumes is because she's in heat. Um, I would say that if she's stressed about moving in with Celine, she doesn't show any signs of it. She has handled it a lot better than Celine has, and Celine isn't grooming herself to, you know, bareness or anything. Um, she's over there right now cleaning herself. But hopefully, uh, after we get her fixed, which we're going to get the girls fixed all at once too, the boys are getting fixed on Monday as long as it doesn't have a snowstorm again um but we'll see and then hopefully once we get her celine and jackie fixed hopefully no more licking ourselves into uh nakedness <laughs> yeah okay so we're going to try and do this now oh i know it's horrible amoxicillin does taste sweet smells sweet too so it's not like a horrible disgusting taste um i think even i've been on amoxicillin before i think my sister's allergic to it though come here beanie yes you're a very good girl you turn this way oh here let me look down at you come here Oh, I know. Good girl. Now I'm gonna wash my hands and this and then stick it back in the bottle. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Beanie. I almost threw your syringe at the ground. some more. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and take her back to um, the room with Celine and Jackie, give them some food, give Willie his food, and then they need water and their litter box is cleaned. Um, and then we'll check on the boys, but going to go ahead and get, um, <laughs> her back in the room and get them fed and Willie fed first, um, because the boys had food when I checked on them not too long ago, so... That's our next uh, action plan here, and I'll see you probably in a few when I give Willie his food, because that'll might be much easier to hold the camera than when I'm carrying Bean, because I really do need both hands. <laughs> there you go, my lord.
think you got it all. Meow. Hi, Yachty Bot. Hey, Tuckaroo. Where's the other feral? Monkey. Monkey. Oh, there you are. Oh my god. You guys move everything around every four seconds. Meow. Meh. 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 Where did you get a fish? Did I give you a fish? Who knows? I love you, so I try not to question it. All right. Yes, I have water. Dear Lord. Ow, Bunky! That's my hand! <laughs> Monkey jumped off my leg like a springboard and I lost my balance. Ott really, really likes water. I'm gonna buy him a ceramic water fountain for his birthday. <laughs> oh, monkey, you're feral. should about be done with food so I'm going to take a little break until he's done wipe out his eyes give him his morning joint treat and then clean out litter boxes in here clean out litter boxes in the girls room and then it should be about time for Willie's meds ouch <laughs> there we go I hear him at the gate so I'm gonna ow, go do that and I'll see you <laughs> when it's time for his meds. Meow. <laughs> Hi bud. So I've got his meds out here. I'm almost out of his Ferrosamade, which is a little scary. I don't have it in the camera. I still gotta get your pill pouch. Um but I had I, I keep his med count on my pill reminder, and that's what reminds me to <laughs> give him his medication uh, at the right time and all of that. And I had asked it to remind me when I hit 20 pills or something. I don't know why she's barking. <laughs> and then his medication was up, so I forgot to account for the different <laughs> dosage in his meds. Um, so by the time it reminded me, I was already down to like five days left of his medication. Um, so now he has today left oh, and then he has three pills left for tomorrow. So <laughs> I'll probably have to have my mom go to the vet on Friday or something and get him like five days worth of pills just to make sure. They have shipped them. Uh, since I ordered them, but it took a day or two after I ordered them to ship and then Apparently they still haven't even left the state that they ship them from So they're predicted to get here by Monday, which is insane um, But you know, I guess that's what happens when you forget to adjust shit and don't order things with 10 to 12 days to spare So we'll see what happens and go from there um I'm gonna wash my hands and then get Audibot. He has an icky eye that needs to be cleaned out and I'll talk to you more about the icky eye as well while I'm cleaning it out, but I need to wash my hands so I don't get a bacon pill pouch in his eyeball. So, back in a few. Much like Bean, he moves around a lot, so I don't promise that you'll be able to see him the whole time. Um, hmm. But, oh, you almost knocked my camera over. 
but I need to wet the paper towel for his eye. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll show you pictures as I talk about it. Um, I can't remember when it was, and I'll also try to put a date on the screen. <laughs> it was during the week, di uh, like one of the weekdays, because my mom was at work. Um, I had gone into the boys' room to feed them and water them and all of that, and Ott was normal and fine. And then I had tripped over my foot, but I was worried that I had tripped over Ott <laughs> because I knew that he was near my feet. Um, so I looked down and he had just blood like dripping from one of his eyes. Um, and I was like, oh my God. So I brought him in here and I took pictures of it to try and see what I was looking at. And he just had a big drop of blood under his one eye. And he must have scratched it or caught the bottom part of his eye, not like his eyeball, but like his bottom eyelid. And he tore presumably a chunk of skin out from under there. I still don't know how it happened. Um, there was no noise. There was no, I can normally hear them scratching and I didn't hear him scratching. So I don't know how it happened precisely, um, but it did. And his eye doesn't seem to be bothering him that much. So <laughs> he's rolling around behind me. His eye doesn't seem to be really bothering him. He's not like in obvious pain which is good because if you know cats are in pain, they're in a lot of pain. Um, but I've just been bringing him in here roughly every day to clean it because it gets a little icky. Um, some days I don't have to clean it. Some days I have to clean it once in the morning or once at night. Other times I have to clean it twice a day. Um, depends on how icky it looks. Come here, Audibot. Your paper towel's getting cold. But he handles it relatively well. I kind of trap him the same way that I do Bean. Um, just so that way it's easier. <laughs> Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I know. But much like with Bean's meds, he doesn't like it. He just lets me do it. Um, I'll bring you in for a second here so you can kind of see it. Um, sorry, you're going to go sideways, but it's this eye, the right one here. Yes. <laughs> Come here. I know you really like the floor. Let's clean your eye and then you can roll around all you want. This also gets a little hard because obviously I'm leaning over him um, and so my glasses slip down my nose and so I can't really see if I've gotten it all until I uh, lift my hand and fix my glasses <laughs> or lift my head enough to use my shoulders to fix it but I got it all there. <laughs> What are you doing, pretty boy? <laughs> Sorry, enjoy Odd's butt. All right, so now I'm going to <laughs> take him back to the room with the boys, shut off the light so Tink can get some sleep and so they can go back to sleep whenever they want. And then I'm going to pick up Willie, go back into my mom's room and work on the desktop for a little bit. I'm currently editing for a client. That's what I'm going to do primarily until I go to sleep. I might switch over to book research at some point. 
Um, it's been a rough couple weeks, so I'm not doing a ton of writing right now because um, I don't want to risk messing up any of my books or my characters. <laughs> but um, this is the animals so far. I'll probably see you again tonight um, because I'm supposed to get something for Tink today. So I'll probably show you that whenever that comes in and then we'll go from there. But otherwise, that's all that I have for right now, and I will see you guys probably sometime tonight. <laughs> You're so stinky! Hi. Apologies in advance for the heater. It's 12.31 p.m. The mail lady just left, um few minutes ago but I got Tink's thingy that I was talking about um, it is a chinchilla house that hangs from the top of her cage and hangs down from there it's um, from Etsy I got it from pandemonium pets and I will link their shop in the description down below this is it it's actually much bigger than I was expecting it to be but of course I didn't measure it because um, all of their things on their shop are pretty much for chinchillas and a whole bunch of the pictures and the reviews were of chinchillas, so I knew it would be big enough for a chinchilla. So I didn't measure it. Um, but I'm very happy with the size. And I hope Tink is as well. Um, and if she's not, then too bad it's going in her cage. And the next chinchilla that I get in hopefully many, many years from now can have it instead. <laughs> Oh, there's a little thank you packet in there. So this is the two of the sides are like that and two of the sides are like this. And then of course you got your bottom and the top and then the top attaches to the top of the cage. Later tonight, because she's most likely sleeping right now and I don't wanna wake her up, but later tonight I'm going to hang that from the top of her cage to get a rough idea of how many more shelves I need before she can get to it. Um, I have some shelves saved on Etsy, I have some shelves saved on Amazon. Some of the ones on Etsy are cheaper than Amazon, some of them are cheaper, but then they have like $20 shipping, which I get, shipping can be very expensive. We'll see. We'll go from there, and I will see you guys presumably tonight when I hang it up in her cage just to get an idea of where we are with shelves. So it is actually the next day. Tink is over there, I've brought her house thingy in here. They were going to smell it for a while, but I brought a new um, bag in here so that way I can sweep off her other shelves. And then I'm gonna hang this up. I'm not 100% sure how far away it will be from that shelf until I put it in there. So that's what we're going to do, and we'll go from there. But uh, I'm gonna let them do that <laughs> while I sweep off her shelves. So before I put it up, my only dilemma is that um, where these go, it only came with four of these. And most things come with um, two per screw. One for the outside and one on the inside. You can see it there. So I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> uh, which way to put it. I think I'm going to put them on the outside of the bars and hope that that's correct. But then uh, mom and I are going shopping on Monday when we take the boys in to get fixed. So I'll see if we can't find four that are this size. So before I attach them, I'm going to measure them quick. We have encountered an unfortunate issue as a result of me not measuring this before I bought it, is that it doesn't fit through these doors. A lot of chinchilla doors are bigger than this. Um, the one for her old cage wasn't, but tuck, dude, <laughs> that was a bit dramatic. I won't let you chew on my cords so you fall to your death. But uh, I can't get it through here. I, so I remember the first time I put her wheel in there, um, it would only fit in at one specific angle. But I think it's perfectly square, so I don't think it's going to fit in at one particular angle. Stop trying to eat the cord. It is hidden in my hand now. So... I'm not 100% sure <laughs> what the best course of action is because I can't take apart her cage uh, without putting her in something else and I don't have anything for her because 
her ball is broken and that's the only thing I have. I was going to buy her a little carrier thing for when I need to like take apart her cage or do advanced cleaning or anything like that. But I didn't get around to that before I needed to start saving for Willie's vet appointment. Literally this purchase was made a couple weeks before that, just for reference. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to make sure I can't get it in through the door at any angle. And then maybe we'll take off the top and go from there. We'll see. See you in a few. Goodness. You need to clean your eye again. So, after a very fun adventure, uh, primarily because of a certain fuckwad whose name rhymes with fuck, but I won't mention any names, um, I got it up there. And I'm not taking it out right now. I've got this shit back up there. Um, I moved that shelf up a smidge, and the goal will be to get her at least one more shelf for this side, although I'd like at least two. Um, a small shelf here on that side in the back a little higher up um, and then probably a corner shelf over here which maybe this side would have two corner shelves I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but that's where we are right now I'm happy with the progress I made I suppose um, it just took a while because I'm going to mention names Tuck, the moment that I had the top off, he tried to jump into the cage because he's a dick. Not because he wants to hurt Tink, not because of that, just because I told him no, and again, he's a dick. So he tried to get in here, and then he wouldn't move when I tried to put it back on because he wanted in here, and then he tried to jump on it while I was screwing it in, so he knocked it into the cage and onto me. I made sure to keep Tink safe, um, despite how difficult that is. Yeah, huh. Ow, feral child. But that's where we are. Um, it's not, she should be able to jump into it from there. It's not horribly high up. I'm going to be in here for a little bit cleaning out litter boxes, but it's doubtful that she'll venture up there because right now she's pulling hay out of her terracotta pot and eating that instead, which is always a good option. <laughs> Gonna go for a run? You're so cute, Tink. The extra shelves is one of my next goals. I'd kind of like to get a piece of wood to screw this to, so like a piece of wood here on the top, to better distribute the weight instead of it just being through these <laughs> uh, four screws, um, just because it's hanging from the top of the cage, if that makes sense. But that's all done. I'm going to clean out their litter boxes. I need to clean out the girls' litter boxes. Willie needs his meds here in a few, and then I most likely need to call the vet to see if uh, my mom is able to pick up a couple days worth of ferrosamide since that's still not supposed to get here from Monday, even though it was in Des Moines yesterday, which is like an hour or two away from here. Um, it's in Iowa, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go do all of that. I'll probably see you when I call the vet, um, but we'll go over in there. I'm gonna take care of dorks. And if she gets up there, I will show you. And if not, I'll try to get that on film eventually for a Tink video. But I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> take care of the dweebs here and go from there.
All right, time for the most hated part of the day where I make a phone call. It feels like I have to make phone calls to the vet about a million times a day, but um, he literally has one pill left, um, and that would be half of what he needs tonight. So, um, unless there's some miraculous miracle and his medication is delivered today instead of Monday, we're boned, so I'm gonna call the vet. Stop looking at me like that. You already had your drugs. <laughs> you already had your drugs. <laughs> I've never met a creature more willing to take their medication than Willie. <sighs> okay. I should write out a script first. I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. All right, script is written. By the way, if you have anxiety, uh, sometimes that can really, really help. I, any day that I'm like a little fidgety, I write a uh, very short transcript of what I'm going to say so that way I don't completely blank on it. Um, once I get started. Hi, this is Courtney Ellsbury. I ordered my dog Willie's Ferocimede the other day, but the Postal Service tracking says it isn't expected to arrive uh, here at the house until Monday, and he'll uh, be out of his current meds today. So I was wondering if it's possible to pay for and pick up a couple days worth of Ferocimede there at the vet clinic today to hold him over until the ones that I ordered come in. Um, he is currently on four every day, so maybe 12 to play it safe. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it's, um, two every, four, uh, 12 hours. Okay. So the the 50, so just to half. Eh, I hate splitting them in half. <laughs> yeah, the, the 12.5 works for me. Uh, 12 just to be safe in case they don't get here on Monday. Awesome, thank you. Bye-bye. Damn, that question at the end there really threw me. I hadn't done the math to figure out <laughs> what... 50 milligrams was. Um, he takes four 12.5 milligram tablets every single day, and she asked me if I just wanted to do the 50 milligram tablet, and I was like, I don't think 12.5 plus 12.5 is 50, but because he takes four a day, technically it does add up, but then I'd have to split the pill in half, and the best part of him being upped to two every 12 hours instead of one and a half is that I no longer have to split it in half. The hardest thing in the world is splitting these itty bitty bastards in half, even with a pill splitter. They're even harder to split than my level Thoraxin was when I first started taking that. So I've got those ordered. I'm going to text my mom um, to let her know that she can pick them up at the vet um, today and we'll go from there. But I was going to do an outro to this video with Porch Kitty, but he was not on the porch or outside by the door when I went out. Um, he had been there before as I was getting ready to film the outro, but he's a turd, so he wasn't there anymore. Um, but 
instead I'll just sit here um, and say thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this animal video a like is always appreciated and if you like to stay updated on my writing my editing the animal videos I upload roughly every Wednesday the gaming videos I upload roughly every Friday or anything that I do on the channel in between feel free to subscribe all of the links to my author's pages as well as links to my social media are in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now